Hello, Terry here, and welcome. Now, this is part two <laughs> build, I believe, and in my usual fashion, the last video I showed you, I believe, the axles going together, and um, I then said, oh, we'll talk about the gearbox next time. Well, I get a bit impatient, so I built the gearbox and the chassis, so that was it. I was going to say I was going to talk about the chassis and the gearbox, but we now have a complete rig. Well, complete chassis anyway. So there's quite a bit to talk about in this video, and I'll try and keep it as brief as I can. So the gearbox, she's quite a big thing. Um, huge plastic spur in here, which is going to give me some issues, because I'm going to be putting a killer body D90 um, shell on this uh, with the interior. So that the interior is going to take a lot of cutting to accommodate this. So, yeah, I'll put some pictures up inside the gearbox and... I can say that there are metal, sorry, rubber sealed bearings in this gearbox. In the first part, talking about the axles, the axles and the wheel, you know, the ends of the axles, etc., have got bushes in. Now, I didn't realise when I opened a bag that, you know, I hadn't opened all the bags, I was just building it and going as per the manual. The bag with the cross wrench in it uh, had some. Uh, stainless steel, you know, metal steel bearings, which I could have used instead of the bushes. So I can't, I couldn't be bothered or face stripping it all down and putting those in. So I will put those in when this has had a good run through winter, the kind of mid-winter strip down. I will change the bear, take the bushes out and put bearings in. But yes, the gearbox has got one plastic or two plastic gears, the big spur um, one of the bigger gears in here, the rest of metal, but it has got rubber seal bearings, which was a nice touch, I thought. Uh, the motor I've put in it is an RC four-wheel drive 55 turn, because, again, this kit is, uh, you know, the idea of this kit is to be on a budget, and I had that motor sitting around. I was really worried about this 55 turn being too slow. That's, you know, they're beautifully smooth, but... A lot of the places we walk to and don't want to carry the rigs. So to get to the crawling site, we need a decent turn of speed, walking pace. 55 turn is normally, depending on the gearing, too slow. But I've run this up and it's plenty fast enough, which is great. And that's when I found out that Charisma actually make their own fancy 55 turn motor. So this kit is obviously geared for uh, a higher turn motor, which is great for me. So the chassis is very, very light, actually. Before I put the motor and gearbox on, I was thinking this is going to be a bit of a worry because the D90 killer body hard shell, being a hard shell, it's got good bits of interior, it's going to be quite heavy. So it's, you know, my thoughts were it's going to be really top heavy and it's going to be quite roly-poly. What I have done is ordered some wheel weights to go into these wheels. These are cheap Chinese wheels and tyres, all-star ones, and they are beautiful actually i really like them they look so nice i've never had a rig with 155s and smaller tires this you know in the shorter wheelbase like this it seems really dinky i really i'm really actually starting to love it already so i need to unmount these and put the weights in just to get some weight low down it's now everything's on when it's got a battery in it it is actually a decent weight so it shouldn't be too bad. So, but I'm going to put the wheel weights in anyway. They do do metal axles for this kit, but they are properly shiny, silvery bling, and they're a hundred pounds each. Again, this is a budget kit, so I'm not going to be doing that. I don't think bling axles like that would fit well with the kind of painting body shell that I'm look I'm going for anyway. So, the chassis went together lovely. You've got metal links underneath. You know, really good build. Everything's gone together so nicely. I am for a budget kit. You know, it's a cheap kit. It's under 180 pounds, I believe, here in the UK. It's it's incredible. Really, really, really surprised and really pleased with this. So do not be frightened to to get one. Obviously, I haven't run it yet. I've run it inside and run it over my foot and looked at the suspension, which I'll come on to in a minute. And I'm. Amazed. I'm really excited about mounting the D90 body shell to this. So the shocks, these are, if you haven't watched my earlier video, these shocks are Team Raffi shocks, 70mm shocks. Um, they might prove to be too low yet, I don't know. They came 
with two springs but no instructions they so they came with like a light blue color spring first of all and I didn't take the black ones out of the bag mounted them with the blue you know and then when I was running it in the house there was no compression like driving over things my foot there was just it was just bounce there was no compression at all so I decided to get the black springs out and it turns out the black springs if this helps you hopefully it does are much much softer so it will when you're driving over things at the moment anyway it will it just compresses really nicely there's not a lot of rebound at the moment you push it down which I know it's unrealistic it takes a while to spring back up but that you know you don't intend to nobody pushes it down so when you're actually driving over things it does it will spring back I'm holding it up there you plonker it will spring back so it remains to be seen how this reacts when the body is on it. I don't know if it's going if they're going to be too soft and I'll have to go up back up to the blue springs or not. Maybe. We'll have to wait and see. So electrics I have put in, I've stolen from another model because I have a this is a 10 um Hobbywing 1080 ESC, one of my favourites. I have got a 1060 lying around which I'm going to put it in the rig I stole this from and I've also got a um, four channel uh, waterproof spectrum receiver because I use waterproof, uh, sorry, I use spectrum radio gear. I've got some other ones that I can, you know, with these, all these channels weren't being used so I decided to take that out as well. I've got a cheaper kind of no named uh, cheap servo, 25 kilogram servos, get the camera to focus, apologies, uh, that, I'm not sure about that, it doesn't feel like it's 25 kilograms to me, um, and there's a lot of flex and movement in this as well, despite it being quite tight, the, the kind of front steering arm, so I have ordered a metal one to see if that makes it a bit better, I mean I have been running it on carpet, which <laughs> obviously there's a, you know, the tyres are really quite grippy, so running it on carpet is giving it a bit of a hard time and not realistic to how it's going to be out in the field. But we'll have to wait and see. I'm going to have to swap the server out. Again, I was trying to do it on the budget. Um, I've left the, I haven't put the bumper kind of um, mounts in because I, I think I'm going to, I need to fiddle with the bumpers. I think they're going to go on the shelf, so they're probably going to stay off anyway. So far, so good. I'm really impressed with this. I'm hoping I'm going to, you know, there's a video out of the unboxing of the shell. Can't remember which way round they're going to be, but they will be in a playlist. So please go and make sure you check that out on the channel. Uh, the, um, the, the shell unboxing will be up before this one. So go and have a look. I'm going to be detailing how I'm going to make this fit, the cutting. I'm not going to show you the cutting in process because um, that would just be too difficult. But how I mount it, I'm going to try and my best to do it neatly uh, and so it looks pretty good but so far so good please make sure you follow me on this journey because I think it's going to be quite exciting you know from this is the first time I've kind of ever really tried to match up a chassis with a body shell that I know you know isn't meant to fit uh, and isn't meant for that you know the only ones I've done are for the SCX where you know they definitely fit um, and there hasn't been too much faffery, whereas this is quite different. But yes, please like and subscribe, stay safe, comments in the usual place, and we'll catch up soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.